If you are planning to do masters in United States, especially to pursue career in software engineering or AI engineer, then you need to be extremely cautious while choosing the right universities and programs as an international student because after being 10 years in United States, I have seen so many international students choosing wrong universities just based on the fact of ranking names or simply because their Indian consultancy told them to go to that university and they end up wasting thousands of dollars and regretting that decision. That's why I am going to share top universities with the best ROI, keeping the ROI in mind because of their strong location, lower tuition cost, top programs and highest salary potential. I've actually visited some of these universities. In fact, most of them I visited in person and I've actually spoken to the students who have gone to these universities who have shared their details but here's the key before you choose a university you actually must know which area of specialization is now in demand for computer science and how should you think about for your specialization because these are the fields that are going to actually lead you to the highest salary let me tell you one by one number one is ai there's no doubt i mean ai is going to stay for next three four five years until you know people get used to ai second one is full stack engineers yes there are still a lot of demand for full stack engineers they are not getting replaced by ai in fact engineers who uses ai to optimize themselves are actually more in demand next one is cloud engineering whether it is a cloud architect or just in general like all the cloud related stuff aws google azure pick one i mean all three are in demand but pick one and specialize in one of them second one is devops engineers yes they are also you know well well in demand because everything is moving towards cloud and especially if you are good at devops for cloud specific things you are like last one is cybersecurity, but i am going to talk about cybersecurity in a special video so wait for that but the real question is which university actually offer these high paying programs which will give you the best roi now please know i am focusing on lower cost like anywhere from 50 ish thousand dollars and not like a high cost so this list is more focused on return of investment versus like you know top ranking universities and because of that i want to clarify that i have actually removed cmus ucs from this list and of course stanford mit from this because they are anywhere from seventy thousand dollars to hundred and twenty thousand dollars so yes if budget is not the problem please consider those universities in fact they they would be in my that elite list or top five list but we are talking about budget friendly which comes with the high roi university all right before i start my list i just want to quickly mention that i'm going to be in india during november so if you're watching this after november then the events already happened but if you are watching this before november 1st 2nd or november 8th 9th i'm going to be in four big cities mumbai pune hyderabad bangalore and we are doing biggest study in usa event and in fact i am going to bring university like purdue with me we are going to share you the ground reality of what is happening in life of international student in united states should you come should you not come who should come how to prepare to be successful when you come to united states and guess what empower is kind enough to sponsor this event and this video as well but it is completely free of cost and you can bring your parents and yourself or your friends please do come as soon as you register you also get invited to the special what WhatsApp group exclusive whatsapp group with me which you will not have access to if you don't register for it so you know if you can make it to these events you're gonna learn a lot and i'm calling these workshops because you're going to learn a lot especially during the networking session you are also going to meet your tribe your community over there you're gonna meet a lot of people maybe you'll meet your future roommates who knows so again i'll see you guys in the event link is in the description but let's start with the number one university in this list which is georgia tech all right fees is going to be anywhere from fifty thousand dollars to sixty thousand dollars and i cannot tell you i've actually interviewed like three or four students from georgia tech university and all of them have ended up getting that masters for absolutely free because they ended up getting something called ta or ra and because of that they got their entire tuition fees waived off and yes it is still available and you can get your entire masters for free now i've heard that a lot of students end up getting that but there's a whole strategy involved in it so again check the link in the description for those podcasts or you can join my study in us accelerator link will be in the description and and i have to tell you all of them are working either in nvidia walmart amazon google so georgia tech does have that 
strong reputation also it is very well known for its hackathons as well a lot of students go to georgia tech's hackathon as well next one is ut austin which is anywhere from fifty five thousand dollars to seventy thousand dollars now i know this is slightly more expensive than entire list but i wanted to still include it because of the value it provides and the roi it provides and also austin is known as a mini tech hub as well now so that's why ut austin is there plus the program is extremely known for and don't forget it does have the strong alumni network as well now i know we are talking about fees that are less than fifty thousand, which is what i'm calling it low fees high roi but even though it is still fifty thousand dollars and someone like me who comes from a lower middle class family i would still need a loan and i didn't have collateral or cosigner but this is where empower comes in they provide education loan for international students who want to study in us or canada and they judge you based on your future potential so it's a no cosigner loan no collateral loan fixed interest rate and they have a very fast approval as well as little as two business days now in some cases it may take longer depending on your individual cases but what i truly love about them is they are more than a lender they actually have this amazing career accelerator program for all the students to make sure that they are successful before coming to united states and even after landing in united states in fact i teach in their career accelerator program so that students are successful once they are landed in united states again i'll leave my special link in the description for you to check out where you can get some additional perk so again and check it out and let me know if you have any questions third one in the list is stony brook now it is one of the nice university uh, in the new york area which is anywhere from forty five thousand dollars to fifty five thousand dollars and a lot of alumni actually end up getting working for like google and apple and amazon's all the fang companies Next one in the list is UMass Amherst, uh, which is University of Massachusetts. Massachusetts. It's very hard to pronounce. Uh, try, try it yourself. <laughs> the fees is going to be forty-five to fifty-five-ish thousand dollars. It does have the ability to get the tuition fee waivers as well if you end up getting those TARA roles. Next one is similarly UIUC. I don't personally like the location of this university, but it does have that tuition fee waiver available. Like if you end up getting TA and RA, and in fact, some of the students from UIUC where I have done the podcast with end up working for Amazon's and uh, some of the mid-tier companies. So it does have that ROI component of it. The fees is anywhere again similarly like fifty-ish, sixty thousand dollars. Next one in the list is Purdue University. It is not very well known for computer science, but actually they have something called Industrial Roundtable Conference where they do get four hundred plus companies. And people actually, even though it is in the middle of nowhere, 400 companies show up there. Plus, they have Tesla Day, Walmart Day, Microsoft, and their alumni work in some of these big tech companies. So, and I've actually interviewed some of the computer science students where they do like the program and they would recommend Purdue University. Fees is extremely low, forty-five thousand dollars or below forty-five thousand dollars. So that's why it is in the list because it does come under the high ROI. And of course, don't forget Purdue does have that brand value. Next one in. the list is San Jose State University I've included this in almost all of my videos because it is in that heart of Silicon Valley now of course if you're were doing like an industrial engineering program or a mechanical I might not include San Jose State but computer science you want to be engineers you know where where all the companies are in the bay area in the silicon valley in the san francisco and that is where san jose state university is even though it doesn't have that high in ranking but trust me people are end up getting working in adobe google nvidia you name it and big tech are there in fact some of the professors that teach in this university is come from that industry background in fact they are working full time and it's part time professors so you actually get to connect with professors like intel samsung google all of these professors are there you should watch my video on san jose state university fees is anywhere going to be 40000 ish maybe 45 max next one is nc state university again the computer science program is very well known for i've actually made a video with the students from computer science background fees is anywhere from 55 to 65 ish also on the same area location rally area there's another university called unc chapel hill the fees is actually slightly higher i think it's 
going to be anywhere from 55 to 70 thousand dollars depending on how many credits and all of that you take but it does have that you know rtp area which is research triangle park and it does have google and uh, i think all of the big techs are over there lenovo is there red hat is over there so it does have a lot of big tech companies and people who have end up doing computer science in fact you should watch my video with unc chapel hill and you will learn more and last but not least is uic the reason i've included this is because it does have that nice fancy tuition fee waivers if you end up getting ta or ra you also end up getting your entire fees tuition fees waived off with stipend and all of it the fees is anywhere going to be 55 to 70 plus the location advantage it is in the heart of chicago so all the you know fintech companies and cybersecurity companies are in chicago so you do get the advantage of location as well um, there you have it again i have study in usa accelerator program if you're someone who's planning to go to united states link is in the description it is on right now on the wait list so as soon as i launch it you'll be the first one to know if you register for the wait list and you'll get the special early bird discount as well but i will see you in the next one please let me know which is the next program that you would want me to make this underrated high roi list and i'll see you in the next one under then keep smiling keep asking you gotta hustle every single day.